my name is Rafael. I'm from Fora do Eixo. We call out of the eggs, maybe in English. Uh, and today I'm uh, looking for and working in uh, an area we call Poéticas Visuais in Portuguese, but in English I think it's something like visual poetry. Okay. Um, but it's not just about poetry, it's about politics too. And uh, well, we were talking about narratives and daily lives and pictures of all we do. Because you're kind of the official photographer of Fort Oasis. Yeah, yeah? I, I, besides being official photographer, I, I work with a team of many, many, many photographers all, all around Brazil and Latin America. And we are working to, to, to be. Uh, more and more like a, a, a great network of photographers working like uh, collaborative in images, uh, getting everything online in real time and with Creative Commons license. So we are generating a, a big, big amount of images uh, of our times for free. If you can say that, so okay. So how, everyone. how does that storytelling kind of feed into what Fordoesha does? I think what Fordoesha does very strong is storytelling. Uh, that can be used with images, fixed images too, or with videos, or when we talk with someone, we are always storytelling. So in, in photography, it's a new movement. We were uh, working like six, six months. Uh, we started very hard with photography and the objective is to, uh, to, to go deeper on our st histories and to try to, to build a new photojournalism based on, uh, on the web, on the, on the new platforms and distribution. Um, why? Why? Yeah. Why? Because we think uh, free knowledge and, and information must be accessible to all. So that's basically what we do. How is that sustainable for a professional photographer? We are trying to know that because our photography doesn't, uh, doesn't need money. So we don't go to, to the field or to, to cover something because of money. We never think, oh, this is going to generate uh, some, some, some resource, uh, not tangible resource, but we are generating a new economy also, as for the issue in a whole, we are generating like uh, immense, uh, new, new possibilities of dreams and, and thought, so that's what we are creating, it's not about money at all. When we go to the field and we go to, to cover something like Pinheirinho in Brazil or Cracolândia, also it's another case we have very strong to go there and see what's happening and don't depend on, on, a, on a vehicle or some newspaper hiring us. We're going for ourselves and trying to build more and more this uh, distribution network very strong. So we have, like, for the issue, we have 2,000 people online all the time. Right. So when we are in, the, in the, the hurricane, we will call the eye of the hurricane, I don't know if in English it's the same expression, yeah. but we, when we, I'm there photographing, I know I can send this image to the web, to, to the web and there's 2,000 people waiting for it just to spread. And, and where do they find these photographs? Is it we Facebook? Have, or? Today we have one platform uh, that we call like it's a data bank. It's Flickr, flickr.com slash Fora do Eixo. It's where we put everything. So since uh, what we eat, ate yesterday until the, the elections of Sao Paulo, everything's there. Why is it important to have that range, to have what you ate for breakfast, as well as the, you know, the election coverage? Uh, I think it's all about our lives and what we're doing and this new uh, type of behavior and, and economics and, and social, social building we're doing. So we think it's the same important, uh, the importance like what Haddad is doing in Sao Paulo as how we deal with money and our, our daily life. I think it's, it's the same. It's storytelling, it's our lives, it's documentary. So we're doing this all the time. Is it uh, happening outside of photography? Is there people doing uh, video or...? Yes, we have a, we have a strong uh, uh, team of video too. We are, and right now I'm working on the team of video, so we have like 
also this discussion of language and barriers that for me I don't think there is much we're working and building every day like new a new type of not professional but people we call cidadão multimedia it's like citizen multimedia citizen so everyone can do anything and especially in photography and video is very close so I, we don't think there's a barrier between them and the the, the two languages interacting is very positive for us uh, at the same time we don't think there's a strong barrier between art and documentary so when we go to field and, and to, to photograph something we know we are doing art in, in one piece and at the same time we're documenting our lives and our times so there are no difference between that. Is it about posterity? Are you, are you creating a history? Yeah, that's all about posterity too. I think it's a very strong uh, thing. We, we think about how people will see that in the future, so you have this strong work of documenting everything. And above all, it's all uh, I said before, we're documenting our time. So I think there's a whole of information, there's a lot of information on the web today, and we truly don't know what will be on 10 years from now, what will be like visible or important of what we do. Right. So there's no more, I think 10 years before today, people would think I'm doing history now. We, we are sure we're doing, but I don't know how this will be told later. So it's. So is it, it's important to have an archive of that. What? It's important to have an archive of, yeah, sure. of all that content. No, that's uh, very important. What, what are you most excited about in terms of uh, communicating the, this through photography? Uh, is it connecting with people in other countries, or is it uh, making kind of Florida more strong internally? How, how is it? Uh, how's um, it working? More and more, the, it's not about Florida at all. It's about connecting people and circulating information and good photography and good language so we can also uh, form, uh, I think, teach people to, to read images and produce better images. So when we are in the network like Fora do Eixo, we are putting many, many images a day on the web so everyone is seeing good photography more and more. And, and besides that, we have Facebook with a lot of memes and images that are poor beautifully but with a lot of, uh, of content right. and so we are competing in certain form with the, what's on the web already so but there's an element of media literacy to that for you people learning how to read images and yeah sure sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we know and we think we are building like new forms of language with the practice uh, it's hard to say what will stay, as I said, I don't know. We are doing many things and uh, the time will tell what, what stays, what, what's story or what's future. I think it's, it's not so sure for us and not so certain for us uh, where we're going actually with the images. But there's one line that I, I told you before, it's about photojournalism. So besides documenting our lives, we're trying to build new forms of uh, producing and distributing uh, photojournalism. So a new, a new way of doing that, that don't, uh, don't need to, to get money from magazines or newspaper. We, we have to, to document what we think is important. So that's our proposal on, on this line. I don't know if it's that your... And, but you're doing it from uh, within Florida Asia. What, what is Florida Asia then, if that's what Florida Asia does? Ah, that's one of the things Florida Asia does, as many others you, you, you probably are getting to know better now. But media is always it's a, a very big part of us. So we are always, and everyone from Fora do Eixo came one, one time or another from media. So there are a lot of people that were from, from video and now are working on the bank. So everyone has a, a lot of knowledge from media. So I think mostly it's, it's one of our big, big questions is narrative. So building new narratives as a political Thing, not just a language. I think it's it.